All right, welcome back to Harder Daddy, the show where I try and get this thing to work and it decides to just really keep giving it to me. So right now we are trying to print Jessica's hair. Jessica from the raffle, remember you can sign up for the raffle, links in the bio. We've been having problems with getting this thing to print because uh, I don't have a slicer that can fully utilize the whole build space for this. Are you working? Are you actually gonna work? No, you're not. No. Nope, that's not gonna work. Cancel, cancel. So we've been working with a super nice person who's, I basically went to our Discord and was like, hey, guys, any of you who actually knows how to work a slicer, can you slice this one file? Because we cannot get this hair to work because I'm fitting it in the bounds of these printers. For this big of a build plate, I should be able to just fit it in easily, but it's not working. If I use the slicer design for it, it doesn't work. It crashes immediately because it's too powerful. So I asked somebody on the Discord, anybody who knows how to manage a slicer, set your build, build parameters to 500 by 500 by 500 and slice this thing, please. And he found out that it's not as easy as it sounds. Um, he made me three files and so far none of them have worked. I don't know why the first layer is starting off just not sticking. While the thing's warming up, Bever, Jessica Rabbit, Raffle, get in on it. I have not checked the comments on what material you all like best, but I'm still feeling that top shimmer, but I'll check the comments a little bit later. And this thing is just screaming at me. Why are you screaming? Kitten, yeah. What is it that you need? It is noon, noon right now. And you have needs? What are these needs? Is it to go outside? You don't need that, especially not when people are out. Play with your little plastic toys. And by plastic toys, I mean scraps of plastic. I got this hoodie that's supposed to have a pouch for cats, but it doesn't work because somebody doesn't like to be bald. So here we go. Here's the file that I set up and it's laying down filament right away. No problem. And if I try and touch it, it's stuck on there. So something about the slicing process they're doing is not correct. And then we're gonna cancel this thing again. This is my old print that we've had failure after failure after failure after failure. So I was checking the comments and people wanna know what lights up more under different lights? Sequence is a strong contender, but I don't know, I just don't like sequence as a whole. You can't see the metallic stuff, but it is shimmering quite a lot. This does a lot of sparkles, but it looks trashy. And then we got the sequence that lights up kinda. And then there's this sparkle stuff up here. So we got the red glitter Lurex jersey, and then this is the red sequence velvet, uh, because this seems a bit thin. Over here, as you can see, it's almost see-through. Whereas this is on velvet and it's soft and not quite see-through. This is not see-through at all. I guess it is. You know what, this test is... Now over here, we had a failure where it got up to right about where it's at right now, uh, I guess a little farther, and then it just crashed. The the printer crashed. It just said, oh no, unable to continue, program has died. So we're just gonna print that same file again, cause that always works. Uh, so we're gonna see, hopefully it doesn't do it again. And then over here, you've obviously seen our struggles with this thing. And we got nothing going on here, which is surprising. Now I'm gonna take a little break and let that finish. And then we're coming back in here and doing this again. All right, 
First up, we have, these are all part of our um, VTuber model, not ours, but uh, Faint Swift Zero does a bunch of VTubing and they asked us to make their model. So this is part of a tail. And then over here is also more tail. It's got a lot of tails. But I mean, it's looking good. Even though we had some support failures, nothing actually failed. Good job. See, it's when, it's when you get thick things like this that it always works. Speaking of which, we still gotta figure out what's going on with uh, Ezra. That's still uh, waiting to be determined. And now's the time to do it, but we need alcohol. Because I left this off one night and a lot of it evaporated. And then over here, we have more tails, I believe. Yep, more tails. But we had a failure on part of it. Looks like we got a not happy result right there. But the other one looks fine. So we're gonna have to reprint part of it, and I'm not gonna remember which part that is. And then over here we have the Hexacore resin, which is still just finishing up the arms, because remember we had a failure, or maybe you don't remember. One of these was just hanging, and the other one printed, but they look like they finished, but I don't know why one would have been hanging there, and the other one still attached, so I'm reprinting them just to be safe with thicker supports, because I put the supports on the insides where nobody can see them. And then we're gonna do a Hexacore resin reveal over over there in, in that fucking mess. Oh, I gotta clean that, don't I? Oh god, we got so many problems. Oh my goodness. Ah, this this film recycling has taken up so much space and so much time. Ugh. You want to laugh at the ADHD? I got up this morning because the kitchen was a mess and I was like, I'm gonna clean the kitchen while autistic wife is out at work. And I was like, I'm gonna get it clean. And I started with, what the fuck are you doing over there? What are you, what? What are you doing? Are you eating plastic? But yeah, you are. Your new name is Microplastics. Microplastics the cat. So I got up this morning, I was gonna do the dishes and clean the kitchen. I started to do that, started to, and then I was like, oh, I gotta make sure that print is running so that I can test it. So I started that print and then I went back to the dishes and I got halfway through the top, loaded the dishwasher, and then I came back and I was like, I gotta check, see how it's going, and it was failing. So I stopped it, I started, uh, I messaged the person going, hey, it's not working, and then, uh, I came back and ran another test, and then I just kept going back and forth between here and the computer, and then I completely forgot about the kitchen, and then she came home, and I was like, I want you to know that I tried, I tried to do everything as a surprise, and only unloaded half the dishwasher, but I intended to clean everything, and that's what ADD is like. What are you doing? Yeah, you're, you're just looking for attention, aren't you? Come on, 99%. All right, here we go, Hexcore Resin. There we go, there's our two arms finished. Let's get them out, and then we can do the display for the Hexcore Resin as soon as I clean everything. So I'm going to do that, and I'll talk to you later, bye.